God. Yesterday, I brought up a guy, all right? And I, I talked about this on my other show. Y'all didn't hear this. I was watching the Locked On Titans podcast, and the host is like, you know what? We got to get rid of everybody. DeAndre Hopkins is up for, for trade. Uh, Tannehill got hurt, so we can't trade him. But he brought up Derrick Henry. He said, now that he has no sources or anything like that, this was just something that he recommended. And, and I have to ask you, and we asked it, we, we talked about it yesterday, but I want to ask you this. If he said he would take a third round pick if you picked high in the draft, meaning early, or a second round pick if you picked later. Now, the question that I pose before you is, would you be mad if we traded for Derrick Henry? It's just a simple yes or no answer. That's all I want to hear. Yes or no. Would anybody be mad if we gave up a second round pick for Derrick Henry? Um, thank you, Vash. I appreciate you. Okay, Braylon says no. No, not at all. No, no, no. That's something I would get behind. No, no. So right now, we don't have a single person that would disagree with that. Lamar is averaging okay. Joseph says no. What? That's I'm surprised, Joe. I'm surprised. Now, here's the way I look at it. And we talked about this. We've been talking about this for probably a month. When you look at our running back position, right now, we're kind of in trouble. We have Jameer Gibbs. We've got Craig Reynolds. Come on, Craig. Shout out to Craig Reynolds. We have Muhammad Ibrahim, and we have Divine Ozigbo, right? The only starting running back that we have is our first-round draft pick who has yet to really, really show out. I, I'm going to be real. If we had David Montgomery, Derrick Henry, <laughs> and Jameer Gibbs, who hasn't even broke out yet, I would have to say Super Bowl. That's just I would have. Could you imagine Derrick Henry running past behind our offensive line? Now, are the Lions going to do this? Probably not. It's like 95% sure Derrick Henry is not on their radar. But if he was, man, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Okay, so Big T, Maurice, and Roger come out of nowhere. I've never seen two of y'all before. And you say yes, you would have a problem with it. Okay, if you say yes, then why? All the reasons I just explained to you. Patty says, imagine Henry behind this offensive line keeps defense off the field as well. Give them the Vikings third. I'm all about the run game. Henry will be a good pickup. Well, Joseph, surprisingly, the show you pick is the one I bring up, Derrick Henry. That's hilarious, man. Appreciate you, man. Okay, t State Cole says, no, I agree with your take on the, okay. Uh, what like, okay, what Henry like, would like Henry, but I feel it would be hard to balance Demo Gibbs and Henry. Okay, here's the thing about that. In about two hours, we will find out the significance of David Montgomery's injury. I don't know if, because no, he was asked about it today. He didn't say anything. He said sometime. So let's consider David Montgomery is going to be out until past the dra uh, trade deadline. Then when he does return, how effective would he be? So. All of a sudden, because what if David Montgomery can't perform to the level we need him to? What if what if he can't do that? Henry is in the last year of a four-year contract worth $50 million. Yes, that's more power that we need, says Sean, meaning that's a good thing, right? Because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it like this. He says, we need power. Henry will cost too much. Will he? Will he cost too much? Montgomery gets a month off, I think. Okay, Patty, so that puts David Montgomery until week 11, right? He misses the next two games, he has the bye week, and he doesn't return against the Chargers. And here's why this is important. After this is done, after Halloween 2023, there is no more talk. The team you have is the team you have. You can't pull off a trade, you can't do none of that stuff. The team you have, you might be able to bring in a free agent, but you can't trade. So, is there a guy that will move the needle like a Derrick Henry in the running back room right now? And if you told me that they would take our second round pick, which is going to be pick 60, somewhere around there, or I would say, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The way with the way running backs are getting hurt, I wouldn't give up uh day two draft capital. Well, that's, that's more reason, Joey. I would give it up. 
I would give it up. So let me know what you think. Derrick Henry, would you would you would you say no? Would you say no to the Detroit Lions trading for Derrick Henry? 